Hey guys, you're free to watch some TV and today we've got a bit of a weird one. We've got uh, the Citadel Miniatures, uh, miniature figures for gamers and collectors specialty set, the Dungeon Adventurer starter set. Um, I've tried looking online for this, this box somewhere, uh, but all I can find is like the Monsters set. Um, so this is what I got. Uh, sorry if the camera goes funny for a second. Right, okay, so this is what I've got. Uh, it, it's really, really old. It's from 1980s Games Workshop. Um, and it comes with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 figures. Uh, it, it, it's just amazing that I found this uh, in a little tucked away shop uh, near where I live and I, I got it for about £25 when online they're going for about well, I can't find this specific one the one with the uh, like donkey and the golden paladin and the halfling they're going for £60 all the other ones so I don't know what one this one's worth uh, obviously it's like got a few bumps in it, it's from 1980, uh, so it, it's, it's older than me, to be honest. Um, it's, it's got all these characters in, there's only one broken model, which is the Elf Wizard, um, which it, it, it's, it's over 30, it's 30 years old or over, and you, you don't go get a perfect lead model that's not going to be broken. Um, this this was just astounding to me to find something like this in a little shop. I had to buy it straight away. Uh, so like this is the little horse with his little barrels on. It's just a gorgeous model. Very heavy. The golden paladin, as as it says, it, you can see it says its name at the bottom there. It is broadsword or whatever he's holding uh sure it should be bigger technically but i think games workshop and citadel were very limited on what they could do in 1980 um like there's the elf as you can see it is broken the staff but it's lead and look at the detail you can even see like the ears how like pointed the ears are and the, and the hair the little dagger and the, and the little brooch or whatever he's got, the little necklace. Um, it's just, I was so happy that I found this. I had to show you guys because it's just one of the things that you'd only see probably one of one or two times. I've never seen this in real life. Um, I'd only ever seen pictures of it online. Um, it's just one of them things that you got to be very lucky to find. And I, f I feel like I'm quite lucky on finding this. Especially for the price I got it. Um, so that's the female lady thief. Uh, who's looking like she's a hand. I don't know what she's doing. Like, is she trying to get some money out or something? Or another knife, maybe? And at first I thought that her hair was... Uh, <laughs> A hood, <laughs> I think it's her actual hair. Um, but yeah, it, I just wanted to show this off to you to see what you thought. Oh, look at that detail on his beard and his mustache and his little scythe. Yeah, it's a nice, a nice little box and a collector's piece, I would say now, since. You don't see it anymore. Sorry for the flashing. It's because the camera's not adjusting to the light. Uh, one second, zoom out. There we go. I'm over there. Uh, just, just the artwork on the front. And obviously, they are lead models. Uh, like I say, recommends not to eat them. Uh, see, chewed or swallowed. Like you can chew lead. Really. Um, and not recommended for people under 10, even though like Games Workshop nowadays are like 
Yeah, yeah, six year old plus, I'd say. Um, I think so. Anyway, we're trying to get my daughter into it, and she's six uh, when we go to Games Workshop. Um, yeah, it is. Did I see the dwarf? I don't, I don't know if I saw the dwarf. I've got it's got to be there. Nothing were empty on it. Um, but like, as you can see, Citadel and Games Workshop were making stuff for other games. So like they say, other games here. Uh, not just for Warhammer. Uh, it was originally for Dungeons and Dragons, I'm guessing this. Uh, and it's just really cool. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys before it goes into uh, my cabinet and stays there forever. But thank you ever so much for watching. Um, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, it really helps out. Um, if there's anything that you Warhammer fans want to see, uh, please let me know. I am wanting to do battle reports and I am wanting to do uh, painting tutorials. Um, I'm working on a lot of stuff at the moment. So like I started my corpse grinder cult for Necromunda. Uh, Blood Bowl, I've got a Skaven Blood Bowl team who's like nearly fully painted. Um, so I don't think I could go through a painting tutorial with that. Unless I get a brand new fresh lot of Skaven. Um, like Necrons, Gene Steeler Cults, Chaos, obviously and Fabius Bile. Uh, for 30k, Alpha Legion and Night Lords. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff to paint. And, oh, and, Tyr and Tyranids for, obviously, 40k. So, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to paint uh, for the near future. And to show you guys, and hopefully I get to know quite a few people and get some tips, or people will ask some, some tips of me uh, from my painting. I, I'm fine with that. Um, but, yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. Um, from the new... Pokemon videos I'm going to do a little game at the beginning of each video and then reveal the answer on the next video each time so Pokemon fans uh, be ready for that get your thinking caps on and thank you ever so much for watching and have a nice night bye bye